Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my personal journey in Linux over the last, say, month or so. Mostly because it's entertaining, and I think this kind of applies to a lot of people in Linux that are, or it applies to a lot of people who have used Linux for quite a while. And the idea about this is that even if you are a distro hopper, like I consider myself someone who hops Linux distributions over and over again, I almost always end up back in the same spot. We all have our type, and that's just the way things are. And I think that that's true for most everybody. You like what you like, and despite the fact that I always think that the grass is green around the other side of the distribution fence, I usually still just end up back where I started. So, about a month ago, I was... Okay. Actually, let's start this way. I was a distro hopper for a long time, and I was probably... I probably never used a distribution for more than three or four months, at the most. And, and that's probably even stretching a little bit. Usually, I would hop a distro every oh, I don't know, six weeks or so. For, usually for no reason. Uh, there'd be some minuscule made-up problem in my head that would cause me to switch distros. Even if I was staying on the same... Uh, like I was staying with arch space distros, I would, you know, s switch distros just because I wanted to. And then I got Arco Linux installed on my computer one time, and that was about... I would say it was about January of last year. Um, thereabouts and I got it set up and I started learning a little bit more about Linux than I had before I mean I'd been using Linux full-time for two years before that so I knew quite a bit about Linux but I get I got more entrenched in learning about configuration files and learning some C so that I could actually go through and learn DWM and suckless utilities and stuff like that and I got really into customizing the system and that Arco install lasted me until, I think, about December. That was my longest stretch on a single distribution since I started using Linux full-time. It was amazing. I even used a Linux kernel until end of life, which is something I'd never done before. It w it's just insane, right? Towards the end, I was having some problems with PyCom. Now, if you don't know what PyCom is, PyCom is a compositor that allows you to do transparency and smooths out some screen tearing effects and stuff. It's one of those things that window manager people use in place of something that a desktop environment user would probably have built in. So like KDE has a KWIN compositor or whatever. I believe they use KWIN for the compositor. And, uh, actually, that's the window manager. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's like late at night. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I was having problems with PyCom. Every time I would wake up my monitors, the screen would go crazy, and I'd have to shut off PyCom and restart PyCom. Yeah, so bad. <clears throat> it got so bad, I even went through and created a key binding to stop PyCom and restart it. So I was like, oh, this is kind of annoying. It, w I mean, it wasn't anything that was affecting my performance or my productivity or anything. It was just annoying. So I was like, you know what? In January, I decided I was going to hop. It took me about a month to actually realize... Uh, excuse me. It took me about a month to actually gain the gumption to do so. Because I was so at attached to all the little tweaks and stuff that I made to not only DWM, and you know, but also Rofi and all the other stuff, that I didn't really want to leave that install. But towards the end of January, I did. I wiped my drive clean and decided I was going to go to Arch Labs because Arch Labs is basically a just a GUI installer for Arch Linux. It's actually Arch Linux is just a it's not even a GUI installer. It's a a TUI installer, I suppose is what you say because it's all done in the command line. But it's a more user friendly than just typical Arch install. That completely failed. It was a, probably the worst day in Linux that I had since I first started. And I couldn't get it to... I got it to... I got it to boot after installation, and it was in Spanish, even though I'd chosen English. So I had to 
figure out how to change the locale that didn't work so i ended up having just to reinstall it and then it it froze at light dm it wouldn't like load light dm it's it stayed on a black screen with a blinking cursor that was annoying so i was like you know what screw this i'm just gonna go back to arco i couldn't get arco to i mean literally the same arco that i just left behind i was just gonna put it right back on and figure well maybe this will f fix my PyCon problems. I couldn't get it to install. Well, I mean, I, excuse, excuse me, I did get it to install, but it had the same problems with getting to Light DM again. It got to that black screen with some the blinking cursor, and it wouldn't go. So I was like, oh, this is this is dumb. So you know, like, I, I was like, oh, hold on, Matt. You learned something from Linux over the last three years. You learned that you need to troubleshoot things, not just leave your bugs behind and go to something else so the arco linux dev has a great youtube channel and they have like i don't know almost two thousand videos so I'm, i dove into the 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 archive there and, and he has a video on how to fix that problem but it's really out of date and it, it didn't fix my problem and i'm like okay fine <laughs> and then i was like well, Screw this. I'm going to leave Arch Linux behind. I'm going to leave my beloved AUR behind and install Ubuntu. I got Ubuntu installed and it worked fine. It, I even went through. I managed to get DWM installed work, you know, installed and working on Ubuntu just fine and all my stuff. Uh, the downside is that Termite, if, for those of you who don't know, Termite is my favorite terminal emulator. It's beloved to me. It's something that I can't leave behind. Termite does not work on Ubuntu. It's not in any of the repositories. You have to build it. And it will not build on Ubuntu. I cannot get it to... I've, I've had this problem for years. Every time I try to get Termite to build on Ubuntu, it just completely fails. It has some kind of dependency that just will not work on Ubuntu. Why it's not packaged for Ubuntu, I don't know. It's really weird. But whatever. That lack of Termite drove me off Ubuntu after a day. I just... I couldn't get, I was like, well, you want, fine, I'll use Alacrity. I couldn't get Alacrity to build either. I was like, fine, I'll use Kitty. Kitty kind of sucks, so I didn't stay with, I mean, I spent a lot of my time in the terminal, so I need a good terminal emulator, and there's, I mean, I could have, I suppose I could have used my build of ST, but I'm not a big fan of ST. Anyways, after that, I decided, well, you want, I missed the AUR too much. I have to go back to Arch Linux. I have to go something with Arch Linux, so I decided to go with Manjaro, and that's where I've been pretty much for the last, oh, I don't know, three weeks or so. Probably about three weeks. And honestly, Manjaro was trading me fine. I mean, there was nothing wrong with Manjaro, but then I just said, there, there was just that, Manjaro always has that problem because all their updates are so far behind regular Arch. I was feeling left out. <laughs> it's It was dumb. It's one of those dumb things that you just feel that's not actually true. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to try something new. I'm, I'm just interested in trying something new. Manjaro doesn't really do it for me for whatever reason. It's dumb. So I tried Heftor, and I did a video on Heftor a couple days ago. And it was okay. I got it up and running, you know, with their config. And then I just, you know, oh, this is a, not a very good config. So I'm just going to put my dot .files and everything on there and install DWM. And I did that. And I was on there for two, a couple days. I still was having some problems with key binding. So I figured out what the key binding problem was in BSPWM. The new keyboard I have has a uh, FN uh, function lock on it and it was engaged. So that's the reason why the function keys weren't working. But I was in DWM like yesterday and w one of the stock key bindings that just moves windows back and forth, for some reason logged me out. <laughs> like I don't know what's going on here, but it was really infuriating because I just finished a video and hadn't saved the Audacity recording. <sighs> it was a pain in my butt because I had to go through and re uh, well, actually I didn't have to go back through and reshoot. Go Audacity because it actually was able to restore my recording. <laughs> that's gr I mean that's just I, mean, I love I love 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 me some Audacity. So this morning I decided, Matt, we're gonna get you back on Arco because Arco was, was the distro that had me uh, being very happy with my computer for almost a whole year. And when I left uh, Arco, it wasn't because of Arco, it was because of some stupid PyCon bug, which has been fixed, because I had it on 
uh, Manjaro for a little while too, but eventually there was an update that came through and it fixed it. So if I had just waited like another couple weeks or so, it probably would have been perfectly fine and I would have still been on Arco, that Arco install. But the, my whole point of this is that I'm back on Arco where I started. And I think that that's really the story of distro hopping. Maybe not when you first start out. When you first start out, you're distro hopping because you're doing it to ins to discover new things about Linux. You're trying to figure out what desktop environment or window manager you're, you're that you enjoy or which applications work best where. Because sometimes gaming works better on certain distros than the other and you know, whatever. Uh, but once you've used Linux for a while, I firmly believe that dis even if you still hop every once in a while, you'll almost always come back to what you're most comfortable with. And for me, that's Arco. Now, whether or not it has to be Arco specific, I think mostly it's the AUR that attracts me. So I could have installed Arch and I tried this morning. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to install Arch again. I've done it a couple times before, and it's always a pain in the ass. It, it, I got it installed, and I got LightDM working, and I got uh, XFCE installed, because I always install XFCE as the base system, because that way I always have a desktop environment installed. The screen tearing was horrible. I mean, screen tearing is always horrible on Linux. I, I don't understand how anybody this is not a bigger deal because screen tearing is always a problem on linux it just always is and it doesn't ma matter whether you're using nvidia or amd it's always varying levels of bad there's fixes out there so i use the one the fix that i almost always use and always works this time it didn't work <laughs> it, it, it i had to restart the computer in order to do it I got back to uh, a scrolling a scrolling mess of text and it said launching start light dm and that's where it stopped so i was like you know, i'll try to trouble fix this i got on reddit and reddit is full of pains in the ass who decided that they're just going to downvote a perfectly legitimate question even though i googled the, the everything and read the fucking manual so i ended up on rto anyways this was a rambling video i Mostly I did this just because I really wanted to use the title that I used for this video there and back again because <laughs> I'm right back to where I was in December. I'm back on Arco and that's where I'm going to be for until this stops working because, like I said, I just think that most people eventually, especially once you use your links for a long time, you always come back to what you're comfortable with. Whether it's a, you always come back to what you're most comfortable with, whether that's Ubuntu or Arch-based distros or whatever. So... That is it for this video. I cannot believe I got 13 minutes out of this topic because this was just one of those videos where I just kind of wanted to make it. This it was a very, very rambly, but that's just the way some of these are. So thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by hitting the subscribe, the subscribe button. You can also hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button. Either one works for me. I really don't ma mind it one way or the other. Don't do the thumbs down thing. Leave a thumbs up. It... it they're side by side. One's good, one's bad. Always be good. Anyways, uh, you can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Thank you to Devon C for being a patron, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.